Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm here with John Fielding from Falmouth Boat Co. Uh, to tell us all about his last 12 months uh, and things that he's done with his business uh, to keep it going. So, John, if you'd like to quickly introduce yourself and what you do, uh, that'd be a great start. And then we'll go into uh, some of the questions. Sure. Um, my name is Jonathan Fielding. I'm the Managing Director of uh, Falmouth Boat Construction. We are a service and repair yard for all things boat up to 100 foot and 100 tons. We have a sector in our commercial market and uh, also in the leisure market. And we're primary contractors for the RNLI in the Southwest, as well as yacht restoration, renovation, repair. Uh, 35 staff, all skills, and everything employed in-house. Right, okay, wow. So, uh, I'll leave this question very open, uh, and there's plenty of uh, stories, I'm sure, that have, have come from the trust past, in the past 12 months. Uh, but what has surprised you in the last 12 months? Crikey, where can you begin? Um, uh, a huge amount. Primarily, one of the things is the loyalty of the staff. I think... The way the staff took on board the seriousness of uh, having a company shut down uh, at very short notice, how they adapted uh, to the changes we put in place when they came back, and the serious nature that they uh, accepted the change in working practices and the need to change working practices. It was, it, it was brilliant. I, you know, I couldn't have done it without them. And, uh, and of course, none of us could have done any of this without the support of the government, which I was extremely skeptical to begin with that they would step up to the level they have done. Uh, the furlough scheme and uh, ultimately the uh, non-charging of business rates all contributed to us, uh, all contributed to the fact that we were able to maintain a, a pretty steady platform uh, during the course of what Certainly, I don't think anybody would generally see in their lifetime, but uh, yeah, hopefully we won't see again anytime soon. Yeah, absolutely. So could you be quite specific around uh, one particular issue or challenge that you faced and how you uh, went around resolving that, uh, whether that's in reference to people or technologies and things like that? Um, just, just be really specific about the example so that the businesses watching could study this and yeah, take... Um, this is I, I, I think, like any business, we were grasping into new territory. There's, there, there, there is no rule book. Um, and essentially, we just use what I perceive as common sense. Um, one of the biggest things we had to do was communicate, communicate with our clients, communicate with the staff, communicate with tax office, with our bankers, with everybody that had any kind of stakeholding or, or interest in it was about actually keeping them informed about what we were up to. Once we actually managed those communication channels, we were then back in control, in control of an uncontrollable set of circumstances. Um, but uh, I think the changing dynamic of what we had to end up doing was quite interesting because we were very reactionary generally uh, in terms of a boat becomes damaged. We go, we get it, we assess it, we fix it. Um, obviously nobody was boating. So we had to turn our attention to some of the restoration projects that we had in hand uh, and, and keeping all of the staff occupied and busy uh, was in itself quite a challenge, uh, as well as trying to maintain a profitable business and actually keep our heads above water. So all told, it was, it was all about the communication, I think, primarily, because once we found that we had that in hand, as I say, People came up with ideas, things got fed back into the system, whether it's customers or staff, everybody felt they were part of keeping us going. And that created a really strong relationship between staff, customers, myself, and all other stakeholders. Okay, amazing. And, and in terms of one piece of advice uh, for all the other businesses, what would you think um, would be the one piece of advice you'd give to them uh, if they're facing similar challenges? Again, it's communication. Make sure everybody knows what you're doing. Make sure there's no nasty surprises. Manage your cash flow. Make sure that you collect your accounts. Make sure you bill quickly. Make sure you do all the things that you always tell yourself you should be doing. Make sure you do actually get them done. That's it. Right, okay, magic. Well, um, that's, uh, that's been perfect, John. Um, thank you very much for coming online. 
and, and for all your insights. Uh, and uh, it's great to meet you. And uh, we'll continue with the conference. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thanks, Phil. Bye for now. Ciao. Bye -bye.